Hi everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to Seasonal Abode. So today I'm going to be taking you to meet my chickens. So about eight years ago when we moved to our homestead, we started with a flock of chickens. Back then they were all Isa Brown, but since that time we've still slowly started branching out into different breeds that lay more exciting colored eggs. So today you're going to be meeting the hens as well as seeing what colored eggs they lay. So come along and let's meet the chickens. The sun is shining, the branches are swaying back and forth in the wind. Beneath the leaves of the maple tree, a few hens scratch into the dirt looking for the biggest grub. A few others plop themselves down on the earth as a cloud of dust rises up from their dust bath. The hens are faithfully doing what hens do best, and even in their most mundane life are bringing glory to their maker. Today I'm baking a special dessert for some relatives who are coming for a visit. The recipe calls for eggs, and fresh ones are the best. I thought I'd take you along and introduce you to the ladies as we call them, and one fluffy robust rooster named Greybeard. This first group of ladies are my most faithful and steadfast layers. They are Isa Brown hens and go by various names, Egg Bertha, Henny Penny, Henrietta. They lay a classic brown colored egg year round and provide the bread and butter, as it were, of our egg collection. If you're wanting to start with any breed, these are the ones I would recommend. They are docile, faithful to lay eggs, and we frequently get double yolkers from them. Then there is our Plymouth Rock. She's the sporty one of the crew. She likes to do stunt maneuvers and is the fastest of the bunch. Escaping into the woods is one of her hobbies. I do hope for her sake though that she learns to be content with home, as her sister's life ended very sadly as a result of wandering too far. Every day, we collect one pinky brown egg from this hen. I will admit that she is the bossy boots of the flock and does not have a welcoming demeanor. She lays eggs faithfully, but if you're looking for a calm and tempered breed, then I would go with the Isa Brown. White as snow and unique from the others is our azure blue hen. Yes, I may have purchased her entirely for the fact that she lays beautiful blue eggs. She's a fast hen and isn't easy to catch. She has a calm temperament though, and is a faithful layer. I mean, she even laid right through last year's Canadian winter. At our house, when we read Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham, we read it Blue Eggs and Ham. Speaking of green eggs, this past spring, we incubated what was to be a dozen olive acres. Over half of them turned out not to be fertilized, and of the ones that did survive, most appear to be copper morans, not olive acres, and to top it all off, the majority are roosters. Ah well, you win some and you lose some. I may keep one of the Copper Moran roosters and see if I can't breed my own olive egg with my Azure Blue. Either way, my plan is to be sourcing a green egg layer in the future. The last of the chicken breeds we currently have are the Morans. We have both Copper Morans and Midnight Majesty Morans. They both lay deep bronze colored eggs. I will say that out of all the breeds that I have, I find them to be very easily pushed around and not the most faithful layers. They are calm, however, and would be a great breed if you have kids. Oh, I almost forgot. You must meet Greybeard. Greybeard isn't a chicken breed or a hen. He's our rooster. He's so proud of himself and stretched around the yard quite like he owns the place. Unfortunately, Greybeard's time clock is not on daylight savings. That or he may need to move to Asia. He likes to rrr, rrr, rrr at the most random times of the day and night. Ah oh well, he's a friendly rooster and very docile with the kids. Greybeard is a lavender Orpington and we enjoy the entertainment he provides. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, meeting my backyard chickens. They're actually a lot of fun and, and they're a great animal to start with if you're new to homesteading. If you would like more specifics on the breeds that I have as well as the color eggs they lay, there is a link in the description box below that's gonna take you to a blog post that I wrote on all the breeds that I have as well as the colored eggs that they lay. Just in case you might not be able to find those specific breeds where you are, I've also included a list on the different chicken breeds that are available that also lay those color eggs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I make one new video every week on simple living, gardening, and home decor. Thanks for stopping by a seasonal abode.